Mikey's rap has been invaded. As soon as it turns nighttime, the zombies will kill them. So we need to build a battleship to save them. Oh, Louie, this is terrible. We don't have much time to build this battleship. I know, Pip. When the sun goes down in 20 minutes, the drowned army is going to attack. If we don't have a strong enough battleship, JJ and Mikey's families will die. Oh, I don't want JJ and Mikey's family to die. Where do we begin? Well, Pip, how about we build it just over here somewhere? This area should be good enough. We can always move them from that tiny little raft to our huge battleship once we build it. And we should start by getting some really strong blocks. So I'm going to get some red concrete and I'm going to get some gray concrete because battleships are made out of these materials. And what we are going to start with is the shape of this battleship. We need to make this thing extra long so that JJ and Mikey will be protected. We can add a ton of rooms in this thing, too. Oh, my goodness, Louis. This battleship is going to be so big. Of course it is, Pip. But to make building this thing a lot quicker, I'm going to use this thing called the Wand of Symmetry. And this basically means that whatever I place gets placed on the other side, which means we can build this battleship's bottom a lot faster. I think we should start with what goes under the water first, like this platform right here and all of the stuff that will go underneath. Like, let's say, the bow of the Ship. This goes right down here. And this is where most of the rooms are going to be. Just under the ocean here. And we're also going to make sure that it comes up to the middle like a real ship does. Like this. I'm going to build this up into the air and show you guys what this will look like. Let's just build up the front of this ship like this. And let's make it so that it adds up on both sides to look the exact same. This way, the front of the ship will be shaped like a triangle. Like that. Wait, Louis, why are you making it a triangle? Because ships look like like that, Pip. If ships do not look like triangles on the front, they cannot cut through the water like a butter knife. Meaning, they will go really slow and will not be able to escape the drowned army. Oh, Louie, this ship is going to be unsinkable! Um... We should call it the Titanic. Wait, did you just say the Titanic? Pip, if you know history at all, you'll know that the Titanic was a ship that sank! And it was a terrible ship! It was designed so poorly that it broke apart by hitting an iceberg. We do not want our ship to do the same. Oh, Louis, I'm sure if they just made me the driver, the ship would have survived. Um, I do not know about that, Pip. I'm not sure you would have been able to drive the Titanic. Oh, sure I can, Louis. Just give me a controller, and I'll just hit the buttons and go boom. A controller? The last time somebody drove a ship with a controller, it imploded! And the worst part is they were going to see the Titanic too, Pip. Wait, imploded? Like a submarine? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. When a ship goes too deep into the ocean, it can implode, which means it explodes, but inwards. Wait, Louie, how does something explode inwards? That doesn't make any sense. Well, Pip, imploding basically just means that something explodes inward because of the high amounts of pressure on the outside. Because there's so much water surrounding the ship, that basically just means that the water pushes inward and it squishes the ship inside of the ocean. Oh, well, Louie, our ship isn't going to do that because I'm going to put sponges. Wait, what? Pip, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I'm making sure our ship doesn't implode. Um, uh, well, while that is a good idea, we need to put the sponges on the inside of the ship, not the outside. But first, we need to add this floor just so that we can actually walk around on the inside of the ship. So let's go ahead and do that, Pip. All right, Louis. So what I'm going to do, Pip, is I'm going to build the floor out like this. I also need to make sure that the floor is like a V-shape so that it's a little bit easier for the ship to cut through the water. See, this is looking pretty cool. Oh, Louis, it's so easy to build this ship with this wand of symmetry. We're saving so much time. I know, right? I always use the wand of symmetry for my builds. It just makes everything so much easier. And there we go, guys. We have made a really cool shape for the part of the ship that goes under the water. But now, it's time to fill the inside up with sponges so that we don't drown. Oh, Louis, I don't want to drown. And I don't want Mikey or JJ's family to drown. I know, so let's fill this thing up with tons of sponges. Let's get rid of all of this water. We cannot be drowning on the inside of our ship. And we need to make sure that we have a safe and dry place for JJ and Mikey to stay while the drowned army attacks. Wait, Louie, if we drown, does that mean 
we turn into drown since we just drowned? Yes, Pip. This is why we are trying to make sure that this ship isn't very wet. Because if we drown, we will turn into zombies like them. Oh, Louie, I don't want to see Mikey and JJ as drowns. Me neither. That's why we need to protect them before it turns dark. All right, Louie, but what else should we add to this battleship? Well, we need to build the outside shape. So how about we go up here and we start building the top of the ship too? As you know, Pip, ships look a little bit weird. This one is going to be a gray battleship. And as you can see, I'm going to add a shape that goes all the way out like that. Wait, why are you adding this, Louie? It looks so weird. Well, it won't look weird once it's done, but this is basically going to be the front of the ship. So any waves that come up get pushed down into the water and then pushed to the side by the ships underneath. This way, it can go through the water really fast. Wait, this is actually a really good idea, Louie. How did you think of this? Uh, well, I went to building school, so I have a building diploma. And at the same time, I just build a lot in Minecraft. Oh my goodness, Louie, you really know how to build just about anything. Yeah, that's just how I am, though, Pip. But look at this shape we are adding to the ship. Doesn't this look awesome? Oh, it looks really good, Louie. And because this is a battleship, Pip, we are also going to add a ton of machine guns on this thing to make it strong enough to defeat the drowned army. Machine guns? Oh, can I shoot the machine guns, Louie? Um, I mean, I guess you can man the machine guns, but you have to be careful, okay? If you shoot the wrong thing and end up shooting JJ or Mikey, we will be in trouble. Louie, I'll try really hard not to shoot Mikey and JJ. All right, but you have to promise me you won't, because if you do, we will fail this build challenge. All right, Louie, I promise you that I will not shoot them. Oh my gosh, I thought you were going to say you will shoot them. Judging by the way you were speaking, it sounded like you were about to say that. Oh, Louie, you know I was just messing with you. Uh-huh. Do not shoot JJ and Mikey, because if you do, you know what I'll do? I'll ground you for a week, and I'll make you do my laundry. Oh, Louie, instead of shooting Mikey and JJ, I'll just shoot you. No, don't do that. But uh, look, Pip, <laughs> I've done the back of the ship right here, and we've also done the front. This is the shape of the ship, and we are going to add a ton of cool things on the top of this. A ton of cool things? L like what, Louie? First of all, we need an area for the captain to sit. So how about you help me build something? Come on, follow me. We are going to add some stone bricks to the top of this battleship. This is where everyone will be able to walk around. Oh, Louie, why do we need to be able to walk around on this ship? Can't we just sit down? Um, no, Pip. We cannot just sit down. We have to be able to drive this ship or else it won't go anywhere. And then JJ and Mikey will be sad. Can I drive the boat? Um, uh, you know what? I think you should leave driving to me. Oh, Louie, you know I have my duck license. You have been in the water a lot because you're a duck. That does not mean I'm automatically going to let you drive this thing. Oh, Louie, you'll be letting me drive when you absolutely crash the ship. Oh, no, I won't. I'm an experienced sailor. You should know this. But, Pip, look at this. We are going to add our radar room to this base. As you can see, I've built a round shape like this out of red concrete, and we are going to build it up into the sky like this. All right, Louie, I'll use a block and build it up all the way into the sky. What? No, Pip, don't use dirt. Why are you using that? Well, it's way better and way less ugly than red concrete. What are you talking about, way less ugly? Well, you know what, Pip? I think you're right a little bit. This red does look a bit strange on top of this battleship. You're right, Louie. Maybe we should use yellow and make it a McDonald's battleship. A McDonald's battleship? I mean, I guess we could do that. You know what? Let's use some yellow concrete and some red concrete. And let's build a yellow and red battleship. I'm going to place some yellow blocks going around the top like that. And this is looking really cool. But this is just the area where the captain will sit. So let's go ahead and add a window like this. And let's get some glass that goes around this whole thing like this. This way, it's going to look like a real captain's area of a real ship. They usually look a little bit like this. They have a few windows on the sides and in the middle. Wait, Louie, so is this where I drive the ship? Yep, this is going to be exactly where the ship is driven from. Also, at the same time, did you know that battleships need radar systems? Radar systems? What do those do? Do they look at the weather? No, they make it so that, one, you can look at the weather, but two, you can find enemies battleships, and we'll be able to detect all of the drowns in the water around if we build one. Wait, 
there's going to be enemy battleships coming for Mikey and JJ? Maybe there will be, Pip, but we need to find out at the end. Come on. Let's build a radar system on the top of this battleship. We need to make it round like this and build it up into the air from the top of this captain's room. Wait, but Louie, why from the captain's room? This is because if we build the radar system directly on top of the captain's area, we'll be able to send all of the data that comes from the radar straight to the captain's room and it won't be delayed. So let's go ahead and just quickly build this thing up just a bit like this. We need to make sure it goes nice and high into the air as well. Because real radar systems look exactly like that. But Louie, are we just going to build one of those radars that you always do with that little spinny thing? Oh no, we are not, Pip. I'm glad you asked what we're going to do, though. We are not going to build just any radar system. We are going to build a radar dish. A dish? I love using dishes to eat pizza. Uh, not that kind of dish, Pip. A radar dish is a much stronger version of a normal normal radar, which means it's going to be extremely good at detecting ships around it. So follow me inside. Let's build this system now. Oh, don't worry, Louie. I can build the dishes just fine. I wash the dishes all the time. But no, Pip, stop putting dishwashers in our base. This is not the right kind of dish. But if it's not that dish, what kind of dish is it, Louie? Let me show you. I just put a clutch and a motor down like this. Now I just need to put them together like this with some cogs and add this drive shaft going all the way up into the ceiling. This is where the radar dish will work from. Now we just need to get a mechanical bearing like this. It is really difficult, redstone, but it should work just fine. But now that I've put this bearing down, it's time to build a dish. And I think I'll build a nice big red radar dish. It's going to be really crazy looking. As you guys know, a radar dish is shaped a bit like an actual dish. So let's just build a little diagonal shape going up into the sky like this. Wait, what, Pip, what are you doing? Oh, my bad. I meant to use yellow concrete. Oh, no, no. Get rid of that. Listen, oh. we are going to add yellow concrete to this dish in just a moment. Let me just add this red first, and you can put all of the yellow in the middle of the red. All right, Louie. This dish is going to be so amazing. You know what, Pip? I've got an idea. I'll place all of this for you really quick. Quickly, just so that we don't mess anything up with the glue that we need to make this thing work. Oh, Louie, you're probably just jealous that I'm a way better builder than you, aren't you? Oh, no, you're not a better builder than I am. I'm an insane Minecraft builder. Just look at what I built here. Yeah, an insanely dumb Minecraft builder. <laughs> Listen, if I was a dumb Minecraft builder, would I have built this amazing battleship? You guys should probably comment down below. I don't know, Louie. It might sink. And when it sinks, don't come crying to me that I should have built the ship. Oh, I won't. Anyways, we built this thing together, right? Well, yeah, Louie, but it was your blueprint. Well, I guess you're right. I do have an image of a battleship in my head that I think I want to build. This is coming along really well. But we need to get this radar system spinning. Spinning, so let's get on the inside and fix it. Louis, there's no way this can spin. Of course it can. I just need to get a redstone link and make it work. Just watch this, Pip. I'm setting it up right now by setting this to receiving mode. And now, if I go back to the captain's room, which will be over here, let's just add a door around the back. Some seats that go up here. I'll also go ahead and add some stairs so that you can walk up to the captain's area and steer the ship from here. And now, all we need is a table like like this going all the way around and then we can go ahead and add the radar system so i'm going to get some of these tech screens and a console like this and put them on both sides as you can see we have some screens now and now we just need a lever that controls the radar system so let's put that down right here and i'll put this white concrete in the top here so now pip if you do me a favor and press that button let's see what happens oh louie this button isn't going to do anything and wait Yep, what did I say? Look, we have a working radar dish now. This is going to detect all of the drowns around us. Oh my gosh, Louis, this is actually really cool. Does it actually detect the drowns? Of course it does. Well, Pip, it will be able to detect drowns from like a half a mile away, which is crazy. <gasps> oh, we'll be able to find those drowns in no time. Yep, you are right. Let's just build up this radar dish so it looks a little bit stronger. There we go. That looks about right. But now, I don't know what else to build. Well, Louie, you know you did forget the most crucial part of the ship. What's that? Louis, how did you forget? 
the engine! Oh my gosh! I can't believe I forgot, guys! Maybe Pip's becoming more of a pro than I thought. Uh, let's add an engine in right now! Come on, let's go all the way down into the bottom of the ship. This area looks like a great place to build an engine. I'm going to go ahead and get these awesome-looking emerald blocks. And we are going to make a casing that holds the engine in place. This way, it won't rattle around and break. So let's go ahead and build an outline with these emerald blocks like this. These are really cool. And I'm also going to go ahead and get some glass. I'll do some red stained glass, but I'll also do some yellow stained glass. Do you want to do that for me, Pip? Of course I do, Louie. I've been waiting to put down yellow glass this whole time. Nice. Look at that. We have an emerald outline and a bunch of yellow and red glass. Now it's time to build our engine. We need to make it really big so that it can power this huge ship. Well, you're right, Louie. We need to make this the biggest engine in the world. Absolutely, Pip. Look at this right now. This is looking okay, right? Uh, yeah, Louie. What else are you supposed to add to it? Well, we are going to add a motor to this engine. We're going to make sure that it spins really crazy. Oh, Louie, did you know how to make such a good engine in redstone school as well? Of course I did. Look, I can add these cogs to this thing so that it works just like a regular engine. I can also add them on the top, going up into the sky like this, and going all the way out of the engine. This is looking pretty cool so far. Oh my goodness, Louie, this engine blows my mind. Usually when I make engines, they're just powered by duck poop. Powered by duck poop? Why would you power them with duck poop, Pip? Oh, well, because duck poop is very strong. Um, I don't know about that. But whatever. Pip, look at this engine right now. We have added a ton of really cool cogs to this thing. And it looks like it's going to run just fine. This is one of the coolest engines I think I've ever seen in Minecraft. And the best part is it's an emerald engine, which means it can power this entire boat boats really well. But Louie, I feel like we're forgetting something. Don't you need to cool down the engine if it, like, overheats or something? Oh, wait. You're actually making a good point, Pip. If we don't cool down this engine, it's gonna overheat. And then our ship is going to break down, which we do not want. So let's go ahead and add some fans right after I'm done building the outside of this engine. Oh, Louie, I really don't want this engine to explode. Oh, don't worry, Pip. It will not explode. But look how cool this thing looks from the outside. That is an awesome engine. Now let's just go ahead and add some fans. So just to match the emerald blocks, I'll get some emerald fans and place some of them facing outwards like this. This way, they push all the hot air away, which makes them really good at cooling down this thing. Now let's just jump out here and take a look. And yes, this engine is looking amazing. Well, Louie, I feel like we're missing just one last thing. It needs to be powered by P. No! Oh, no, 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 Pip. Don't add P to the engine. You might actually break it. Why not, Louie? P is a great source of energy. No, no, no. It does not work as fuel for this ship. But wait, you just gave me a quick idea. I just realized something. We need fuel for this ship. So how about we make this next room the fuel room? That's a great idea, Louie. But what kind of fuel do we even need? You wouldn't let me use P. We need a bunch of diesel or maybe just some gas, like just some regular stuff. So let's go ahead and add a bunch of fuel to this room. Look, I'll put down some of these gas pumps so that we can power the ship whenever we need to. Let's also fill them up as well. To fuel them up, I'll be using this stuff called Fuelium, which is the Minecraft version of gas. Wait, Louie, can I drink this stuff? No, no, no. You cannot drink fuel. Do not try. It will really, really hurt. Oh, Louie, why don't you drink some? Come on, just take a sip. No, no. I'm not taking a sip of that. You'll kill me. Oh, what's wrong with that, Louie? Um, a lot of things is wrong with that. But now it's time to put down a ton of these fuel drums. This is what will hold all of the fuel that we will fuel the ship with. Oh, Louie, there's so much fuel. Wait, when can I light it? Um, no. You cannot light this. If you light any of these fuel drums, our entire ship will go kaboom! And I don't think Mikey and JJ are going to like that. Oh, you're right, Louie. That would look super cool, but that might kill Mikey and JJ. Yeah, we do not want that. But anyways, Pip, come over here. We have another room to be making. What room are we gonna put over here, Louie? It better be a bathroom. 
Well, it could be a bathroom if you want, but take a look at this pit. I've made a little outline for a room that will go in this area right here, okay? All right, Louie. This is going to separate the rooms from the fuel and the engine to whatever this room is going to be. And how about we make this Mikey and JJ's bedroom? Mikey and JJ's bedroom would look so cool down here. Yep, and we can also add a bathroom on the back where this small little area is over here. We can put the toilet right here. All right, Louie. I'll work on the bathroom while you work on the bedroom. Sounds good, Pip. All right, let me go ahead and get some lime concrete and some red concrete. This is what Mikey and JJ's favorite colors are. I'll also make sure to get some of these stripped oak logs for tables that I'm going to build. And I'll also get some seats for Mikey and JJ with a TV they can watch. I'll go ahead and split this part of the room into a green area. This is where Mikey will be. And I'll make sure that it's even so they have a similar amount of room to each other. I'm going to add a table for JJ in the corner here and a table for Mikey over here. Then I'll add a TV on both sides in the middle like this with a TV rack underneath. Then I'll add some seats underneath the TVs so they can sit and watch their favorite shows. All right, and to begin this bathroom, we just need to put down a bunch of yellow carpet because yellow is my favorite color. And my entire inventory is filled with things that we're going to need for this bathroom. So right over here, we're just going to put our shower in this little corner right here. And then out here, we're going to put the sink with, of course, a mirror. And then over here, we're going to put our bathtub so we can take bird baths. I wonder if Louie likes bird baths. But now, last but not least, we need a toilet. Because um, you can't have a bathroom without a toilet, of course. And then, of course, toilet paper. Because for some reason, humans use toilet paper. That's super weird. I don't use any of that stuff. Now, let's just add some decoration. We put a painting right here. I don't want an S. I want a good painting. Come on, give me a painting. <gasps> that looks cool. And last but not least, put a little flower pot in the corner. And now this bathroom looks amazing. All right, but now, guys, I'm going to add JJ and Mikey's PC setup. So I'll put some PCs on both sides. Now it's time to add some decorations to this room. Since this is JJ's side, and he loves to read, I'm going to put a ton of books going all the way up the corner of the room, like this. And then for Mikey, I'm going to add a small little pool. I might have to make the ship a little bit strangely shaped for this one. Um, that should be okay, though. Let me just do that, and then fill up this area with some water buckets, like this. Perfect! Oh, wait, Pip, what are you doing? I'm just taking a bird bath! Um, it looks like you're taking a poop in the bathtub, and I do not want to see that. You don't take a poop in the bathtub, Louie? No, I don't poop in the bathtub. Who would poop in the bathtub? Guys, if you don't poop in the bathtub, make sure to comment because we need to teach Pip a bit of a lesson about the hygiene. Anyways, Louie, I'm back from the bathroom, but what have you built over here? Well, this is Mikey and JJ's bedroom. What do you think? Um, Louie, isn't a bedroom supposed to have beds? Um, well, the thing is, I don't sleep very often, so I forget beds quite a lot. But don't worry, Pip. We can always add them up here, just out of the way, so that they can still have their fun, but also have some really nice beds up here. Well, Louie, if you didn't have any beds, where did you think they were going to sleep? The pool? Oh, Pip, they're not going to sleep in the pool. Stop making fun of me. Look, I've just made an area up here where they can sleep. We can put some beds up here. I'll get a green bed and a red bed. Then I'll put JJ's beds over here and Mikey's beds over here. JJ's entire family and Mikey's entire family could sleep up here. Oh, Louie, this does look pretty good. I know it does, Pip, but how about we also add some more rooms to this boat so that we have a ton more fun things to do. Oh, Louie, that's a good idea, but what should we add next? Well, Pip, I think we should go to the bathroom really quickly and just build up from the corner here. We can move the shower, don't worry. Let's build up from the corner like this, and then we can add a ton of rooms going all the way throughout the boat. Louie, what can we even do here? There's, like, no room. Well, Pip, the thing is, we don't need much room in here because we are going to be adding a ton of traps inside of this boat, okay? Traps? 
Oh my gosh, Louie, I never thought of that. What traps should we even add? Well, let me show you. We're going to start all the way over here because this is where we are going to come down into the boat. Let's go ahead and make a ladder that goes up and down here. Once either me, you, or one of those drowns come down here, we can start adding some traps going along this corridor like this, like a secure tunnel. Oh, Louie, that's a good idea, but what should we add first? Should we add lasers? Oh, yeah, Pip, you read my mind. Lasers it is. Let's go ahead and add a laser down like this. And let's place them going along this concrete wall like this. Let's place them like this so we have a big line of deadly laser. And now, let's make sure that these walls are two blocks high. This way, we can add a ton of lasers and also have the redstone work very well. I'll put them along the top so that no mobs would be able to jump over them. But, Louie, how is this even supposed to work? This doesn't have any redstone on it at all. Oh, well, that's why you're wrong, Pip. Watch this. I'm going to add some tripwire hooks going all the way along the walls like this. And then I'm going to connect them up together. What? Like that. Now, if I connect every single one of these tripwire hooks up, it should make one of the lasers activate that you stand on. If I run in a straight line, it'll just blast me with lasers. Louis, I even put a fire upgrade in a couple so those drowns catch fire. Good thinking, Pip. This is going to be a really deadly trap. But how about this, Pip? I'll let you come up with the next trap idea for this boat. You can build it in between these red concrete lines. Oh, Louis, maybe we should use fake water. All right, Pip. You read my mind. Let's get some fake water really quickly and fill up this entire area full of it. But wait a second, Pip. Why did you think of fake water? Well, because the drowns love water. So when they see see the water in here, they're going to be like, ooh, water! Swim around in it, but little do they know, when they go in the water, oh, it's fake water and they start dying! Oh, oh, uh, wait, Pip? Uh, where did you go? Oh, no. I think he's dead. Guys, this is really bad. I think Pip just died. And I don't think I'm ever gonna see him again. Uh, oh! <laughs> Pip, what are you doing here? It's me. Pip number 496, I have arrived. Oh my gosh, guys. If you didn't know, every time Pip dies, for some reason, there's a Pip factory that sends me out a new Pip every time. We will be charging your credit card $1,000 for Pip dying. No, I don't want a replacement, Pip. Stop charging me money. Get your money up. Not your funny up. Oh, Pip always says this, guys, but I guess it's kind of true. It's what's on the inside that counts, not the outside. Oh, anyways, Pip, come on. Just help me build already. Look, we can add some real water inside of this fake water like this to make a nice little fake water maze. This way, if you're in survival mode, you can go through this water just fine. And if you go a little bit too far over here, you take damage. Oh, Louis, this is such a great idea. Do those drowns know the difference between real water and fake water? Absolutely not, Pip. They are really, really dumb. All right. Well, this is awesome, Louie. But I feel we need to add more traps. Just in case they somehow get past these two traps. All right. Well, how about we do something similar to the laser trap of the trip wires, but instead we add some dispensers. <gasps> Dispensers? I love dispensers! Maybe we should put potions of healing in them. That's a really good idea, Pip. You read my mind with that one. If we put potions of healing on the inside, guys, it means that the zombies will die. Because potions of harming hurts players, but not the undead. Which means, if you put a potion of harming on a zombie, it heals it. But if you put a potion of healing on a zombie, it kills it! So let's go ahead and get some healing potions and put them on the insides of these dispensers. Now, I just have to go ahead and replace all of these dispensers with ones full of healing potions. And this looks about right. These zombies aren't gonna know what hit them. Whereas, every time we take some damage and get hit, we could just walk in the healing dispensers and heal up! Oh, Louis, this is such an OP trap! I know it is, Pip, but I think we could add one more thing to this room. And I've got a really good idea. What's your idea, Louie? Well, if we go all the way back to this back side of the room and we add some emerald fans, as you can see, it shoots me all the way back, all the way over there. Whoa! 
Wait, let me try this. Let's just jump in the fans and... No! Yeah, that would be really deadly for the drowns. But the thing is, how are we going to get over there? Well, Louie, you taught me something really cool. If you wear these things called sticky boots, the fans won't detect you. Wait, what? Look, you're just walking through the fans like nothing happened. Yep, but if I jump up... Well, how about this, Pip? I'll go ahead and get a chest, and I'll place it right here. And we can put our sticky boots inside. Anyways, zombies cannot pick up chests or even open them, so we'll be safe. All right, let me help put my sticky boots in here. And now we're prepared. Nice stuff, Pip. But now we've done a ton of traps down here. How about we build the rest of this battleship? Like some really cool rooms on the top. You're right, Louie. We need to make this the coolest battleship ever. Follow me. You know, I think there's one thing that this battleship is missing, Pip. What could it possibly be missing? It is missing a huge machine gun. So let's build one of those. Oh, I can't wait to shoot this machine gun. All right, here we go. Let's just build it nice and high up into the air like this. This is going to be our machine gun barrel. It's going to be going up into the sky around this high. And then it's going to have some yellow concrete coming out at the end like this. And that is the machine Machine gun. Well, this is really cool, Louie, but how exactly can we shoot this? Well, let me show you. If I go ahead and get an emerald fan and place it underneath this barrel of this gun and then go ahead and get a dispenser, we can make this machine gun shoot TNT. <gasps> TNT? Oh, we better not shoot it right now because the TNT would be aiming directly at Mikey and JJ's family. Yeah, and we do not want that. So be careful not to shoot this thing, Pip. Anyways, look, if we go up here and we get a lever, we should be able to just put it here and shoot whenever we want. All that we need now is just a little bit of redstone going all the way there. That now works. But be very careful not to press that, Pip. You'll end up killing JJ and Mikey. But just to make sure that it actually works, really quickly. I'm going to add a fan that faces up into the air so it shoots the TNT upwards away from Mikey and JJ. Okay, here we go. Boom! Uh, oh, no. Wait, uh, that TNT is coming for no! us! That was close. Oh. Maybe we should try that uh, again. All right, one more shot. Here we go. Boom! Woohoo! See? It goes all the way over Mikey and JJ as well. Louie, that was really close to hitting them, though. Oh, don't worry. We can bring them onto the ship, and then we can get rid of these fans. But Louie, seeing as the drowns are coming from everywhere, we should really add some guns on the side of the ship. All right, good point, Pip. If we don't add any guns on the side of this thing, then we might have to fight those drowns by hand. And we do not want that. So let's build some of these machine guns coming out of the side of this wall right here. And just so we can see where the drowns are, I'm going to use a block called One Away Glass. And watch this, Pip. I'm going to go in the middle of these guns. I'm going to build this up with One Way Glass. Oh, Louie, this is so cool. You made windows so we can see through the ship. Yep, we can see through. But look on the other side. The drowns cannot see through. Which means the drowns will not expect any TNT to drop on the head. But it will. Pip, let me just go ahead and connect all of these up with redstone so that this device works. Let's just go ahead and power all of these like this. And then we can add it to one big lever in the middle. And this should activate our machine gun that drops TNT down into the ocean to kill those drowns. Oh, Louie, there's no way those drowns will get on our ship. Absolutely, Pip. Let's just see if these fans I play under the water work. But getting the TNT to stay at the top of the ocean. And boop! Yeah. <gasps> if there's any drowns next to this ship, they will all be exploded. Oh, Louis, you're such a genius. And I'm so glad TNT explodes in the water and doesn't damage our ship. Otherwise, that would be horrible. I know. If TNT exploded blocks on the water, we would be in real trouble. As our ship would probably have a massive hole in it by now. But anyways, let's go ahead and build over the edge with this red like this. And this way, we have a nice looking outline around this thing. These machine guns are looking super cool. I love this build so far. Louie, are we going to put the same machine guns? 
on the other side as well? Well, I think you are right, Pip. Let's go ahead and do that as well. Let's just copy the exact build from the other side. And these drowns are going to be toast. Oh, yes, they are, Pip. Toast they will be. I'll do the redstone. You do the walls. So I'll place these dispensers. I'll get these light gray concrete pieces. And I'll have them go over these dispensers like this. And there we go, Pip. We now have two machine guns ready to fire. Look at this. Now, let me just go back down into the water and do the same thing with the fans. I'm gonna go down, 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 down to about here. And now let me place those fans in. So I'm going to go a few blocks across a few times like this. And boom, we are now done with our TNT cannons. Go ahead, Pip. Try them out. Oh, Louis, they're absolutely perfect. And don't let spam the button. Just click levers. once. No, oh, you clicked oh, twice. Pip! What? Phew! That was close. I thought the TNT was going to blast another TNT block out of the water and all the way at our base. Oh, no, Louis. That would be really bad. I know, but look. We now have our guns working, our radar system, and a big gun on the front. But now it's time to build a huge armory room on the back because we need to make sure we have all of the armor needed to destroy these drowns. Oh, you're right, Louis. I don't think we can take on these drowns with our bare hands. I think we can. But no, we have to be very, very careful not to die. Or else who will Mikey and JJ have to protect them? So let's build some walls up like this. And this is going to be where our armory room is going to be. This is also going to be our living area on the back of the ship. So for the first floor, we are going to have the armory room. And on the second floor, it is going to be our bedrooms. And this is where we are going to sleep. It's like the captain's quarter. So let's build this up a few more blocks so that we have a second floor too. I'll build it up this high. All right, here we go. Now let's add a roof onto this thing out of white concrete like this. And boom. This thing is looking awesome. Now it's time to build the rooms on the inside. So let's get some ladders that go up to a second floor here. And let's build our armory room on this floor right here. Oh, Louis, can I make the armor for us? I know some great armor. Oh, I guess you can. Here, take this armor stand. I want to see what you're going to do. Don't worry, Louis. I'm just going to put the best armor in the game. But what is that armor, Pip? All right, Louie, just you wait. Look at what I have. Wait, what is that? That's not leather armor like you usually use. Oh, you're right, Louie. This is the yellow and red Power Rangers. We can be Power Rangers together. Wait, no way. Wait, let me put this thing on and... Whoa! It looks like I'm wearing a bike helmet. Yep, Louie, but it's not a bike helmet. It's the most powerful powerful helmet in the universe. Wait, what do you mean in the universe? Well, Louie, have you ever heard of the Power Rangers? They're the strongest fighting force in the universe. I've never heard of them, but they sound really strong and the armor looks really strong as well. So I guess we can keep it. Yep, Louie. I bet the drowns are absolutely scared of the Power Rangers. Oh, me too, Pip. But we only have armor. We don't have any chests of weapons. So let's put those in as well. You're right, Louie. What kind of weapons should we add? Well, look at this. If the Power Rangers are the strongest fighting force in the universe, then we need some really crazy superpower. Like this. Look, I can shoot a massive beam of light. <laughs> what a Whoa! Louie, that's such a cool power! Yep, and the best part is it lasts forever. So we can shoot lasers like crazy. Oh my gosh, Louie. I'm actually really excited for the drowns to come. So we can destroy them! Me too, Pip. But we need to get some more weapons in here. I think we should get some dragon bone bows. These things are the strongest in the entire of Minecraft. These dragon bone bows do a lot of damage. We could probably kill a drowned in a single shot. Let's just fill this chest up with bows and bone arrows. I'll let you choose the next chest worth of weapons. All right, Louie. And my swords of choice are going to be lightsabers. I, wait, what? How did you get your hands on a lightsaber? Um, don't ask questions, Louie. Just take your... Oh, this man knows Darth Vader, I bet. But okay, Pip, let's put a ton of lightsabers in this chest right here. You can call me Darth Pip, Louie. Uh, no, I have the red lightsaber, so I'm the evil one. Oh, I always knew something was sus about you, Louie. That's right, Pip, because I am your father. No, Louie, my father died in a volcano accident. Oh, really? Oh. 
was it me? No! That's impossible! I'm only joking, Pip. I'm not actually your father. Uh, all right, Louie, because that would be really weird. All right, Pip, but anyways, after all of that, we need to be able to sleep somewhere nice. So how about we have our bedrooms here? Oh, that's a great idea, Louie. We can't just have some basic beds. We need the best beds ever! All right, go ahead. Show me what you're thinking. Oh, I have an idea, Louie. Why don't we just share this deluxe bed? Um, Pip, I don't know about you, but uh, I don't really want this bed! Why don't you want to cuddle, Louie? I don't want to cuddle with you. I want to be on one side of the room, and you can be on the other side of the room. Oh, fine, Louie. Maybe we can just use these beds. Um, I don't know. They kind of look weird, don't you think? Well, I mean, Louie, you look weird, too. You know what? I'll just get one of these red blankets and put it on top. There we go. <gasps> Wait, where did you get that blanket from? I want one. Yeah, get a yellow one, Pip. Wait, I see. There's so many blankets in the inventory. Um, let me just get one of these. Yep, that one looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like you're sleeping in a pineapple. Oh, me, it kind of looks like I'm sleeping in pee. Uh, oh, Bruh. okay, Pip. That's a little too far. But it's not weird, Louie. I do it all the time. Okay, I don't need to know that you pee your pants in the night. But come on, Louie. Let's just add some more things to this room. I'm going to add some tables for us to put some cool things. And on mine, I think I'm going to put a lamp. Like a cute little one. I'm going to put this one. Look at it. It's just a cute little one like this. Well, Louie, I'm not going to add a flower. I'm just going to add a little flower pot with no flower in it. Um, that's kind of weird to have in your room. But I guess it will do. Anyways, Pip, what I'm going to do is on my side of the room, I'm going to have a painting of me. Painting of you? Why are you putting poop on the walls? What do you mean, why am I putting poop on the walls? There's no poop on the walls. But you said you were putting yourself on the walls. No, I'm not poop. Oh my gosh. Listen, Pip, here. I have my side of the room. And you have your side of the room. And to show that, let's draw ourselves. All right, guys. So I have a bit of red on my hoodie. I also have some white. What else do I have? I have gray for my pants. And I have green for my eyes. So let me just get those. And I also have brown for my hair. I keep forgetting that sometimes. There we go. That looks about right. Now it's time to draw my cell. I'm going to start off with a really cool black outline. It's going to go around the entire painting like this. Now it's time to draw my cell. So I'll get my skin color and I'll paint in my face like this. Then I'm going to go ahead and add my hair going all the way down like this. This looks pretty good so far. I'm also going to add my little ears in like this because my ears are kind of big, I have to admit. There we go. And now I'm going to add my really cool green eyes. So I'm going to add some little dots right here for where my eyeballs are. And I'm going to put some nice green eyes inside like this. I look very silly. Now I'm going to add some little area in the middle. That is where my irises are. And then I'm to add a really nice smile. I'm going to add a little smile going on my face. I'll make it a smirk because I'm cool. And there we go. That is my face right there. Now it's time to do my red hoodie. So let's just very quickly do the shape of it. I'll do it going down like this. And I'll add my arms coming out like this. This looks pretty cool so far. I'm really liking this. I'll add this space in my hoodie there where it stops. And then I'll add the little white strings coming down. This looks really awesome. Awesome. Now I just need to add my gray pants coming all the way down, and that should be me. Look at this. I'm so proud of this painting. It looks just like me. Oh, Louie, I'm so proud of my painting as well. It's so perfect. Um, let me see your painting really quick. <laughs> oh my gosh! What is that? It's just me, Louie. Don't I look so uh, beautiful? Why do you look like an alien? Well, Louie, doesn't this painting look just like me? Well, I mean, if you were hit by a semi-truck, yes, it would. Well, Louie, at least I don't look like a murderer. What is this? What do you mean? I look really cute and uh, handsome, right? No, Louie, why are your ears so big? Um, have you ever seen me in real life? I have very big ears. Um, Louie, I can't even see your ears. Your hoodie is covering it. Well, I mean, I can take the hoodie off if you want. You know, I, I don't 
want to see your bald hair, Louie. Yeah, well, Pip, I don't want to see your dumb painting. It looks like a jelly bean. Well, Louie, I know you are jealous. I did go to art school after all. All right. I mean, you said you went to art school, but this says otherwise. Maybe you would be better as an abstract artist. An abstract artist? Uh, I don't know what that means, Louie. All I know is that my painting is ten times better than yours. Oh, you know what? I'm going to let the viewers decide. What do you guys think? Does Pip's painting look better than mine? Comment down below whose painting is better. Leave a comment, Louie for mine or Pips for Pips. All right, but anyways, after that, Pip, we need to build a few more things on this base, but I don't know what. I'm looking. We've got a big building on the back, a radar dish, a machine gun, and what else could we put? Well, Louie, I have an idea. If something terrible happened, we should really have lifeboats so we can escape. Well, that is a good idea. But where should we put them? Should we put them right here at the front? Hmm, I mean, there is a good amount of room right here, Louie. All right, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and get a sticky mechanical piston. And we are going to make a boat system that catches them and puts them into the water. So let's go ahead and do this really quickly. To do that, I'm going to need a motor. I'm also going to need a gear shift. And that's a about it. So what I'm going to do is get this motor on the side and then connect it to this gear shift, which then will connect to this sticky mechanical piston. Now I need to figure out how many blocks down the water is. And that's one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to put five blocks on the side of this piston like this. Now all I need to do is take some glue and I need to stick all of these blocks together to make a platform that goes down into the water. So let's do that really quickly. And uh, boom, this should do just fine. Do you want to do the honors of pressing this lever right here, Pip? Of course I do, Louie. I love pressing buttons. Just press it once, Pip, and look. It goes down slowly into the water like that. This is so cool, Louie. And now all we need to do is get ourselves a boat, which will be right about here, as you can see. And we are going to put this thing right about there. Now pull it out of the water, Pip, and we have a boat ready to go when something goes wrong. Oh, this is so great, Louie. Why, thank you. I really need the assurance that this thing is going to work. We can probably make it go down a lot faster, like that. So it comes up really quickly, and then goes down really quickly. Look, it even bounces. Oh my goodness. If we can make it super fast, can we make it super slow? Um, I guess we could. Let me just try that. Let's see how slow this thing can go. Here we go. Boop. All right, it's coming up just very, 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 very slowly. Do you see it? Look, barely uh, moving. Yeah, Louie, it will come up here any minute now. You know what? No, I'm tired. Speed up. Whoop. Oh, Louie, it went so fast. The boat literally jumped. I know, right? But look, we have our life rafts now, and we have our guns and our radar dish. But now... Now, I think it's time to get JJ and Mikey on this boat. Oh, you're right, Louie. Come on, Mikey and JJ, get on the boat! And there we go, Pip. We have Mikey and JJ's entire families inside of our boat now. But I guess it's time to go outside and see what's going on. All right, I think there's maybe one or two more things we can build. And Oh, no. Oh, wait a second, Pip. I think we've been building for too long. It's nighttime. The sun's going down and the moon's coming up. Wait, already? Yeah, this is really really bad. The drowns are going to be spawning any second. Oh no, Louie, we really need to get to the armory and put our armor on. All right, come on. Let's go ahead and do it right now. I'll get this Power Ranger armor and start putting it on. I'll also get this Dragon Bone bow and I'll get myself a red lightsaber. Oh, Louie, your red lightsaber is no match for my yellow lightsaber. <laughs> You'll see. One day, we will fight with lightsabers, and you will learn that I am a real Jedi. Wait a second, Pip. Did you just get put to survival mode? Uh, yeah, I did, Louie. That can only mean one thing. The drowns are here. Oh, my gosh. Where are they? Let's see. Uh, can you see any right now, Pip? Yes, I, I see. Oh, no, they're spawning. Don't worry, Pip. We can fight them off, but wait. If they're coming around the side already, how many must be at the front? Look, there's tons. There's so many. Look at that, Pip. Uh, on the raft all the way over there, there's a ton of them. And they have 
tridents. Oh my gosh, Louis, we are so lucky. We're up here and not down there. Yeah, don't worry, Pip. We will be able to fight off those drowns. Just follow my lead. Come on, break one of these emerald fans, quick. All right. Thankfully, we put Mikey and JJ up here in time. Otherwise, they would have been swarmed by drowns. Yep. Watch this, though, Pip. We now have our machine gun ready to fire. This will shoot directly at that raft down there. You're right, Louis. Let's blow up the raft. All right, come on. Here we go, Pip. In three, two, one. Go, go, go. Oh, no. Um, Pip, Louis, you missed. The boat. Oh, well, we didn't blow up too much of the boat. But wait, isn't this Mikey and JJ's bedroom below? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. It's a good thing we didn't explode too much. Oh, don't worry, Pip. We can always try again. Boom, boom, boom. Go, TNT. It's going on to the You're raft. Up the raft. Boom. We can just spray a ton of TNT at those drowns. And hopefully it'll kill some of them. Come on. No more raft. All right, we got rid of the raft. Look at all those drowns around the outside of our base. We need to kill them too. Let's go and use the machine guns on the other side. Come on, they keep throwing annoying tridents at me. Don't worry, Pip. Come on, come over here. Look how many drowns made their way to the side of our ship. It's time to try out our machine guns. Come on, and boom! Look, it launched them out of the water. We can just use a few of these like this and then blow them up again. And look, the drowns are dying. Let's just try that again. And look at these drowns right here, guys. Boom, perfect. This machine gun is the best idea we've ever had. And these drowns are none the wiser. They cannot stop us. Oh, you're right, Louie. Let me just blow up the drowns over here. Our battleship is ready for war. <gasps> Don't worry, Pip. I'm sending more TNT in. Let's see what happens here. Boom, boom, boom. These drowns are toast now. Okay, come on, Pip. We have to wait. What? Uh, what just happened? How did they get up here? I don't know, but this is really bad. Look, they're climbing through a boat, Pip. This is terrible. Oh, my gosh, Louie. We need to protect Mikey and JJ right now. Maybe we should retreat. Come on, retreat into the base. Let's go. We have to take them through our traps. Come on, just run around the side. This way we won't activate any of these oh, lasers. You're right, Louie. But those drowns are going to walk right through and get lasered. Hopefully they will. That's the idea. Oh, Pip, here they come. They're running through the lasers, but some of them aren't. Some of them are very smart. There's this baby. Oh, yeah. Look, they are dropping down and taking tons of damage. This laser trap is really good. Look, Pip, they're dropping down. Some of them are jumping down and shooting us with their tridents. We just need to attack them. Look, all of the items on the floor have made the laser stay on. Oh, no. I think they're getting a little bit too strong now. Pip, you know what? Let's go through our water maze. Come on, follow me. All right, Louis. Oh, hopefully they all jump into the fake water and die. And oh, that baby zombie was almost there. Oh, Louie, I love babies, but I hate baby zombies. Oh, I'm the opposite. I hate babies. Look, these zombies just don't give up. They keep jumping down and attacking. Let's just see whether they go through the water. Oh, Louie, these lasers are so OP. They're on forever. Look, and the zombies are so weak in health that they die in the water instantly. Just wait for this guy to come in and boop, he died. And then boop, he died. Oh, man, Louie. Maybe we didn't even need these dispensers. And maybe the only reason we needed them is to heal up. Because, look, we're full health now. Yep, Louie. But I'm still going to put on these sticky boots. Just in case. All right, Pip. Good luck. Oh, no. Wait a second, Pip. I think something just happened. Look. <gasps> Wait. Did they disable the laser? I don't know. It seems like they just turned off and... Oh, no. All of those zombies walking through have disabled the tripwires. Look. They disappeared. Oh. Louis, you're right. There were so many zombies. Maybe the lasers got overcooked. Oh, well, that's not good. But it's fine. They won't get past this water. Oh, watch out, Pip. They're coming. You know what? Let's just run. Let's run. Run, run, run. Through the healing. Through the healing. Come on, Louis. But there's only so many Whoa! healing potions left. Oh, I know. We have to be careful. Look. And those healing potions worked against the drowns. Oh, that's so good, Louis. I really hope they don't get to Mikey and JJ. Look, Pip, there's tons more of them coming to try and kill us. And wait a second. It seems like they just keep coming. Look, they keep going. Oh, Louis, I'm trying to hide behind the dispenser just in case they'll stop seeing me. Oh, but... 
but look, Pip. It seems like we are really quickly running out of healing potions. These drowns are getting through. Watch out! Ow! Oh, don't worry. We can shoot them off. Hopefully, they won't make it. And no! I just got pushed all the way. You know what? It's time for me to put my sticky boots on. I have to come to you, Pip. Run! Oh, Louis, I'm just going to take the healing potions out of these dispensers, even though there's like none left. And I'm going to throw it at the drown. Good job, Pip. Kill them quick! Look, they are managing to get through, but we are just about holding them off. This is really good. Pip, these emerald fans are crazy. They do such a good job at holding off those drowns. I think we might be safe. Oh, Louie. And if we're safe, that means Mikey and JJ are as well. But anyways, Pip, come on. Let's go and see if Mikey and JJ are okay, right? Come on, surely they have to be. We just have to climb down into this room and... Okay, this is good. They are okay, Pip. JJ's little brother, JJ, JJ's mom, and... Mikey's entire family are right there. They are okay. Wait, Mikey's family is safe? And JJ? Let's go! But anyways, Pip, what do you say? We go get those zombies and we show them what we think of their zombiness. Oh, let's do it, Louie. Come on, let's go back up there now we know Mikey and JJ are safe. And let's go kill some drow! Take this! This lightsaber is really strong. It can kill them in about two hits, which is really good. Oh, no one messes with Mikey. Mikey and JJ's family. Yeah. And no one messes with Louie and Pip. All right, Pip, come on. We have just a few more zombies to kill. We got most of them in this downstairs room. But now let's go upstairs and see how many there are. Come on. Whoa, watch out, Pip. They're all gonna drop down on your head. <gasps> that was close. All right, we need to find a way to get back up there because it seems they've destroyed it. So let's put some water down so we can swim up. Let's swim, Louie. Go, go, go. We need to hurry up before those drowns make their way back up. Over. Oh, watch out. There's some behind there. You can just barely see them. Look, they're trying to jump scare us. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm the only one who jump scares Louie. All right, let's see. Are there any more drowns? Whoa, there's a few down there with tridents. Be careful. If we just shoot the rest of them, we will be okay. There we go. We are just cleaning up the rest of them. And boom. There are still a few at the back with tridents, though. So be careful not to be hit. Oh, Pip, there's too many of them. Lead them all the way over here. What's the machine gun? Oh, uh, yeah. Ah, take this, drown. And boom, Die boom, boom. Drowned. Ow! Oh, no, Pip. I'm in the water. And our ship. Oh, Louie, it should be okay. Let me just repair it. Oh, um, Pip, this is bad. Our ship has a big hole in it. At least it's not on the water, though. That would be a big problem. Oh, Louie, the only thing that matters is that Mikey and JJ are safe. At least for now. I know, right? But the thing is, Pip, I'm not safe. I'm in the water getting attacked. I just have to shoot and shoot and shoot. And I hope they don't kill me. These drowns are really strong, I have to admit. I'm killing the ones with the tridents right now because they are the most dangerous. These ones that walk in my face aren't very strong. But the ones with the tridents do a lot of damage from a distance. Look at that. There's more over there. Mine. All right, yes. good job, Pip. We got rid of the ones next to our base, but what about the ones on the other side? Oh, no, it's about to be so bad, isn't it? Wait, there's, like, none over here. Wait, seriously? I killed about two of them, but I don't see any more. Oh, but, Louis, surely there's some more at the front. I don't know. I, I think we did it. Uh, did we kill them all? Wait, okay, hold on. We need to make sure they didn't get to Mikey and JJ. Since they blew a hole in the ship. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Go quick. We have to go down here through all of our healing potions really quickly and down into the secret area underneath. Here we go. And yeah, I think we're okay. JJ and Mikey's families are both very safe. We did a very good job of protecting them. Oh my gosh, Louie. I really thought this ship was going to sink. But no, it stood the test. Yeah, I know, Pip. But if it's not daytime yet, that means there must be so many more zombies spawning. Come on, let's go outside and make sure we kill the rest of them just for now. Here we go. Oh, and wait a second. Pip, it's daytime. We survived. Wait, is it actually? Absolutely, Pip. We managed to survive the night and protect Mikey and JJ from all of those dangerous drowns. Oh, this is awesome, Louie. I feel like we did a super good job. Me too. What do you guys think? Comment down below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Let's go. Let's go.